Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we will be responding to a request to create a report showing employees that were hired in 2005. We are going to be using Oracle SQL Developer to generate this report. So this is the shortcut to the Oracle SQL Developer. I just double click on that to launch it. Once you've got it launched, you need to connect to the HR schema, which is the schema highlighted in green here. So just click on the plus sign and then type in HR for the password. It has to be in lowercase. And then click OK. Once you're connected, you should see this editor window here and then the tables listed on the left. The request is to provide a report of all employees that were hired in 2005. So what we need to do is try and identify the table or tables that will contain that information. So on the left here, we've got a list of various items, objects in the schema. This is a table one. I'll click to expand. We've got a table called employees because the data is relating to employees. Uh, let's expand that. And we have got one called hire date. So this is the information they want. Everyone hired in 2005. So let's have a quick look at the table and see. So to do that, we do a select. Star means bring back everything. The from is the name of the table, employees. So I just run that. So this involves all the columns from the table. So we can see we've got a higher date and you can see the format of the higher date. It's in this format. So when we do a report or when we build our query, we'll be taking that into account. So this is everything from this column, from this table called employees. To generate the report, we are only going to require three columns from the employees table. We're going to need the first name, last name, and then a higher date. So to build the query, let's start by typing the word select, followed by the names of the columns we require and the column names are separated by a comma. Okay, the last column doesn't need to have a comma. So these are the columns. Line four here, I've done a select keyword followed by last, na last name underscore and then comma, first name, first underscore name, comma, and then higher underscore date. The column name must be specified the way they have been defined in the table. If you notice in the table, they've all got underscore next to it. That's why I've uh, maintained that structure in the naming of the columns. So next we need to specify where the information is coming from. So we do that with a the from, then type in the name of the table. That's the name of the table. And then followed by a where clause, because we don't want all these data or the higher date. We only want anyone that was hired in 05. So we're going to use a WHERE clause to filter that data. So to do that, we'll type in WHERE, HIRE DATE, 
the higher date is the condition we're going to use to filter so where higher date is like this like is known as an operator so we're going to use a like operator usually when you use a like operator you use that in combination with a wildcard a wildcard is used to search for the data that has been specified so I'm going to say where higher date is like 05 and then I put a percent the percent is the wild card it's got to go before the actual okay and then you have to surround the in quotes so what this is saying is that it will filter any data with a pattern the like operator is used to search for a specified pattern in a column so this like operator will search for anything with a pattern of 05 the wild card which is a percent is used in combination with the like operator so placing the wild card before this number of specified 05 which represents the 05 here what that will do it will search for any values that ends with 05 so this will search for any that's what the percentage here if the percent was behind it will search for any value starting with 05 but when you place the percent which is a wildcard in front it will search for any values ending in 05 so that's what that is for and it has to be surrounded by quotes and then I want to filter the data in a last name order so to do that we use the order by clause and then I specify the name of the column I want to order by and it's the last name column so we have completed the query we finished building this query so this is a query line 4 selects the column line 5 specifies the table line 6 line 6 here acts specifies a filter to filter the data so the like here is an operator operator that searches for a pattern in the data and the pattern will be 05 anything 05 the like operator has been used here in combination with the wildcard the percent sign is a wildcard and it will search for any of the any data that ends in 05 which is this data here anything ending in 05 it will return and then on line 7 I've specified an order by so it will filter the data that has been returned by the query in a last name order when when using the order by the there are two values you can specify ascending or descending when you specify ascending that means the data will be filtered from if it's in alphabetical order it will filter from z to a if you are specifying descending it will filter from a to z the default is descending so i wouldn't specify that so it will filter in a descending order but if i wanted the date the data to be filtered from z to a then i will specify ascending with this with the keyword ascending but because i don't want to use that i will use the default which is descending i don't need to specify that because this is it is the default so it will return the data in alphabetical order so let me execute this and you can see all right so it's returned a total of 29 rows that matches anyone who was employed in 2005 so what i can now do is provide produce a report from this query by right clicking on there and clicking on export 
and then where it's got format select PDF you you can specify title subject or keywords I don't need to do that I'm gonna skip that I will need to specify a name though for the PDF so I'll specify or five higher date and then browse to where I want to save the report. I'll save it on my desktop. I'll leave it to that and click next. Okay, and click finish. So if I minimize this, um, this is the report that I've generated. I'll just double click to open it, make sure it's all right and good to go. So we've got last name, first name, higher date and it's got various this is a format it's got various months and then that's the year so the last name has been filtered in alphabetical order so this is good to go i can now email this report to whoever has made the request in this video we responded to a request to provide a report for employees that were employed in 2005. So we were able to create this report using a combination of the select keyword, the where clause, and using the like operator with a wildcard. Thank you so much for watching. I hope the video has been useful. Take care and bye for now.